So a while back, um, I made a video discussing why I personally don't dislike Shane Dawson and why I don't think he deserved to be cancelled. Now overall, people were losing their shit over a video of him pretending to jerk off to a poster of Willow Smith when she was like 11 or 10, which I think is dumb for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one of them being that Shane Dawson isn't some child-friendly individual influencer who suddenly did something super shocking to deserve cancellation. Shane Dawson, since the beginning of the Earth, has consistently made racist, shocking, gory, or just generally hateful satire comedy skits, and that's just who he is and what he does. There's no surprise here at all. Overall, I just really found it to be a massive circle jerk for people to swarm around Shane's channel and act like they're the judges of justice. Like, literally nobody benefits from canceling Shane Dawson, except for Shane Dawson himself. All you people have accomplished is taking away free future entertainment from Shane Dawson fans. And like I said, it's not even like you hurt Shane Dawson in any way, shape, or form, because he still makes millions upon millions of dollars. All canceling him has done has just made it to where he can collect that money casually every month without ever having to put out another video or work of art ever again. If anything, the people trying to cancel Shane have just given him a pleasurable vacation, and a shit ton of ad revenue from hate watching. Anyway, a few months ago, like I said, I made that video defending Shane, and it actually got surprisingly decent reception. I thought it was just gonna be swarmed with dislikes, but people, for the most part, were actually fairly rational about this. However, there were a plethora of hate comments, of which I will read right now. Please do not send hate towards any of these people, they are just commenting on what is essentially an open form, and I am simply politely disagreeing with them. So let's get started. This first comment comes from a user named Splash, and they say, If y'all took this video seriously, I worry for your mental health. Ooh, I worry for your mental health. Well, let's be clear here. Uh, he does not care about your mental health. At all. That is essentially a very sly and condescending way to say you're a crazy fucking dumbass, and I'm morally superior. Now, first off, what's crazy about condemning cancel culture? It's essentially the modern day equivalent of book burning. Just because someone or something hurts your little fifis doesn't mean it needs to be cancelled or destroyed. That's very childish toddler logic. Classifying the people you disagree with as insane is a cheap tactic that really holds no merit. Now, someone replied to him stating, You didn't watch it, did ya? You weren't listening to him at all, you just came here to comment that. Which I honestly agree with, it does kind of seem like he was very biased going into the video and just wanted to find a way to be condescending. But he responds, Nah, I listened, I just didn't agree. No mentally sane person would say the shit he said. Y'all are just weird. Well, I do agree with you, Splash, in that me and my fans are weird, but who the hell wants to be a normal, boring, forgotten corpse? But to classify arguments you don't like as just crazy or morally underneath you without providing any proof or evidence is not only obnoxious, but completely destroys any argument you were attempting to make. The next comment I got is from a user named James Garrett, and they say, If you defend Shane Dawson, that says more about you. You are aware that pedophiles watch this and take it as support. I suggest you follow up with information and examples of children who have been raped and sexually exploited, then at the end, reiterate how edgy or funny his jokes were. Now, first of all, Shane Dawson has never, ever explicitly supported pedophilia, zoophilia, any association he has with those topics are just dumb, edgy jokes he made. And also, as someone who's known a lot of gay people, because they're in my fucking family, there's a lot of gay people that love making really fucked up jokes. It's just part of their sense of humor. People that go through tragedy, they get a dark sense of humor about stuff. And like I said, I could understand canceling him if he was a Disney star, but he's not. He's a shock jock asshole comedian who's always been that way. As for your obvious bias and distaste for edgy jokes, get over it. People say shit in life that you won't or don't like. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing what you think about it. 
Honestly, I think pedophilia jokes are pretty funny if done well, and as someone who knows quite a bit of sexual assault survivors, they also aren't these whiny babies that are super sensitive to any jokes like the dumbasses online portray them to be. They're very strong people that usually make a lot of pedo jokes themselves because, like gay people or like anyone who's had a hard experience in life, they've developed dark humor around the situation as time went on. What are you talking about that pedophiles watch this and think I'm supporting them? Shane Dawson is not a pedophile. He's a troll and an internet comedian known for gay jokes and poop jokes. Move on with your life, dude. The next hate comment simply says, Wow. I'm going to assume they're responding to the statements in that video by showcasing their shock or disbelief that I'd say something like that. And honestly, I really don't care. Look, the biggest issue on YouTube, in my opinion, are influencers acting like good people. Let me tell you, as someone who's been an influencer on many different platforms for over 10 years, it's been my life, okay? Almost every successful influencer is a fucking asshole who's had to fight tooth and nail to get to where they currently are. I'm not special as an influencer in how mean I am. I guarantee you, a majority of influencers are just like me or you, they just hide it and create this dumb alter ego that's like this empath. Also, yeah, just get over it. People say things that you won't politically or morally agree with. Instead of pooping your pants about it all day, why don't you go spend time doing things you actually like? Your heart's gonna give out any day, dude. Life's way too short to care this much about stupid fucking internet drama. This last comment isn't really a hate comment, it's more respectful criticism, so let's respond to it. Paul Cassidus says, One genuine question. To all people who support Shane Dawson, given that I do disagree with his behavior and I see many people support him, I would like to ask, do you people have young siblings, daughters, etc? If yes, and someone reacted the way Shane was seen to do to them, publicly, how would you react? Would you be offended, take it as humor, would anything change, or would you genuinely see this as entertainment and nothing else? Now first off, Thank you for actually asking a real question and not being a total dick about it. Second of all, if I'm a parent that has allowed my 5 to 10 year old daughter to become a famous pop star that's so famous anyone can pretend to jerk off in front of her poster, that's my fault as the parent. I would be a shitty parent. It's not Shane's responsibility to respect Willow Smith's brand and he was genuinely just making a dumb joke when he was like 22. Also shit was like 10 years ago, get over it. Anyway, that's all I can take for today. See ya.